good morning guys welcome back or to the channel in today's video we're going to be going over the first 600 miles in my 60 power stroke so if y'all remember we just got this thing together uh, as i'm filming this a week ago uh well a week and a day uh but close enough um from pulling the motor out we did power stroke products stage one cam also, while I have y'all's attention, I wanted to mention, because I, I, I'm horrible at mentioning this, down below in the description of the video, there will be a bunch of discount codes and whatnot for all the companies we've been fortunate enough to work with and such stuff as that. So if y'all want to check them out, like I said, those discount codes will be in the description. But anyway, let's get back to the video. Actually, let me just pop the hood and show y'all. Also. We need to get new brake pads again. Uh, these are supposed to be ceramics, but um, this is 50 miles worth of brake dust, which is ridiculous. I've cleaned these wheels three, four times, something like that, uh, since this thing's been back together. But I digress. Um, so, also, we'll get to this in a minute. Uh, but like I said, we just got this thing back together uh, from pulling the motor out. We did a stage one power stroke products, cam kit, uh, HD push rods, HD lifters. Uh, I'm probably going to miss some people, so sorry, guys. But uh, HAC nipple cups, diesel sight stand pipes and dummy plugs, holders, injectors, 205.30s, turbo time USA turbo, and a bunch, bunch more. This thing is studded. It's got, it's got some, it's got some stuff. Um, this is a long build process, and as you can see, we've done a lot of powder coating as well. But uh, our little, our little issue over here, <laughs> I kind of freaked out when I seen this. Uh, this is just the bottles overfilled. Um, it doesn't have like a lot of pressure on it. It's simply just overfilled. So. Um, I noticed that the other day. It doesn't matter how I drive the truck. Every time I drive it, it's like this. Um, it's just a little over full. So I'll probably take a, like a fluid extractor and pull some of that out. Um, that way this quits. But like I said, that is a little over full. Um, also, there's some stuff we're going to repowder on this thing. Uh, for whatever reason, these came out looking more blue than everything else. Uh, so we're going to redo these. We're going to redo this guy. Uh, I've already chipped it. Or maybe it's hitting on the hood. I don't remember chipping it. Uh, but there was some stuff that landed in the powder. But regardless, blessed performance. Regulator return. We finally got that guy sealed up. It's good to go. Uh, and a few other things. Uh, like I said, I'm not going to get into details. There is a whole bunch of videos if y'all want to check it out. Um, but I have been driving this thing pretty much nonstop. Uh, the 300 pretty much just been sitting here. I think I've drove it once since this has been together or back together rather. Um, I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with the, with the 60 here. Now there's a few things we still need to do on the truck. We need to. Uh, pull a vacuum and charge the AC system, uh, which I'm probably going to try to do maybe this week. We'll see what this week holds. Um, do we have some stuff to do with Silver Bullet? I have some stuff to powder this week. Um, my sister is moving to Delaware, I believe. It was Delaware. I don't remember exactly. Right off the top of my head. Um, way out of state. We'll say that. So uh, we're going to hang out with them. Uh, the day before they leave um do like a send-off type deal so uh this is gonna be a busy week around working around everything else so we'll see if we can get that done but this thing is a riot it's fun to drive uh, i was told that with this setup on this particular tune should be around that 500 wheel mark um i can add 
a little bit more, a little, decent little bit more with uh, tuning. But I actually think we're gonna take this thing to the Music City Showdown. Well, I know we are, because I've already paid for the Airbnb and registration. Uh, but Blessed Performance is gonna be there, and I think we're gonna put this thing on their dyno. I think, we'll see. But anyway, let's fire this thing up. We're gonna take her for a little drive, and I'm gonna show y'all a little bit of kind of what it has. The thing sounds ridiculous as well. If uh, anybody was curious, but um, like I said, we'll go down the road here. We won't go so far because, uh, well, the silver truck sat down here and um, the shop door is wide open, so we're not going far. But um, <laughs> anyway, we'll, we'll drive out there. And uh, like I said, I'll give it a little bit. Now, I'll let me know it for y'all. Now, I haven't really gone more than half throttle if that really uh, probably around the half throttle mark in this thing and it's it's pretty quick now for the sake of the transmission i'm not going to get too, <laughs> too crazy um but the thing sounds ridiculous and as you can see right there 653.6 miles as of right now and if we look at the fuel mileage little gauge 20.7 now the other night i'll insert a clip here but the other night we was cruising this thing and uh it was getting like 28 i don't remember the exact number but it was insane for a big diesel truck um which i talked about already in the other video but like i said the thing sounds insane if you were curious about nine blade sounds it's uh well it's a little ridiculous <laughs> but let's uh let's drive out to a somewhat straight road around here and i'll kind of show y'all a little bit of the sounds and stuff of this oh and here's a little more turbo noise for y'all um because like i said it's ridiculous but um roll this window up for y'all there we go I mean, it, like I said, it's ridiculous, but it sounds amazing. So, uh, anyway, we'll go a little bit further down here and uh, where it somewhat straightens up and uh, smooths out a little bit. And uh, we'll give her a little bit just so y'all can kind of get an idea of uh, drivability. All right, so sorry for the sun, but uh, I got this window up. That way y'all can get an idea. But cruising, you know, 55, uh, my speedometer is, I believe, calibrated. But just cruising, you know, 55, it's, it's smooth. It's not choppy. It's not anything like that. But if you drop it, See my boost gauge issue we were talking about but same thing from low speed it uh, like i said it moves out that was you know again probably half throttle or so so i'm uh, i'm very happy with the kind of everything that's going on here but uh like i said i'll catch y'all when we get back to the house all right so we're back um this thing gets me every time i ain't even gonna lie uh we put this many miles on it uh somewhat you know get on it pretty decent um like i said i still haven't been over about half throttle on this thing which is kind of it's almost kind of spooky because the thing already uh even a half throttle especially at low speeds um i don't know if it picked it up on camera but you can hear it trying to spin the furies um which is insane now 
I believe at some point we might change it up and uh, throw some streets on this thing, which would be pretty dope, I think. Um, maybe lower it a little bit, uh, take the three inch off, go back to stock height in the front, reverse level it, or uh, leave it with the three inch in the front and just throw some a little bit smaller streets on it. Um, either way, I think it would look good, but I think uh, the street truck look was what I was going for before I got this set up, and uh, I think it looked, I think it looked pretty dope. Um, maybe do 26s and 33s. I don't know. Um, if we do, I need to do something different about our driveway because <laughs> I feel like this driveway will probably murder 26s and 33s. Uh, silver bullet. It's on 28s and 38s, and uh, I don't know. That would look good. If I went with a 26 and a 36, that would be that would be the same like sidewall. So we might we might do something like that because I think that would be fine here anyway. But this thing is definitely it definitely scoots. Um, I was I was actually very surprised the first time I got on it. Uh, I drove it for probably a solid. Two, three hundred miles, something like that, before I got on it. Got on it, um, and just kind of cruising around. I was like, eh, it doesn't really feel fast. And then I got on it, and it came to life. Um, I was definitely impressed, to say the least. Now my three hundred feels very slow, uh, which is an issue because I think I have a valve seal leaking. And now. I want to make more bad financial decisions and make the 300 fast while we're at it, which I might do. I don't know. I haven't, I haven't made up my mind yet, but uh, we'll figure that out. But like I said, the thing is a riot. I'm very, very happy with it. Drivability, the cruise is great. Uh, the one thing I will say that's a little weird, uh, at least around here with our speed limits and stuff, is on some of our roads, uh, it's right at the speed where it is back and forth between this gear and that gear so it like it jumps uh, which is kind of annoying um, and I think would not be good for the life of the transmission but other than that uh, the thing drives great it cruises great my grandpa who was just certain that I was ruining this truck as we were building it uh, even said the other day he was he was very impressed with the drivability of this truck so big thank you to everybody that we worked with on this build i will leave some discount codes for y'all in the description uh, with all of the discount codes and all that type of thing that i have um hopefully hopefully before long ds customs when we get going with that and get our website i purchased the domain i've got a bunch of business cards um we're getting product pictures to put on the website and I will have a discount code just for y'all. Uh, so that'll be cool as well. But that is something we're working on as well. And that was my like push to go to Music City was to promo the new business. So uh, we're gonna be taking this truck and we're gonna be taking the silver truck. Um, and as, as it is right now, I'm gonna be cruising by myself. So that ought to be real nice and interesting. Um, well by myself in here we're gonna we're gonna follow silver truck and uh we're gonna ride together we're gonna cruise together but i don't have anybody riding with me uh so that ought to be that ought to be a nice one but um anyway i'm uh i'm i'm really happy with this so around this time around the time this video goes up uh should be should be around music city so if you see this thing in music city Stop by, say hey, um, whatever, you know, and uh, check this thing out. So, anyway, guys, with that being said, as you can hear, the birds in the background, uh, they're at it today. Cause it's hot. Um, let's see. The truck says it is 92, which is fantastic. Um, but anyway, I'm going to get down here at the shop. I'm going to move some stuff around. We're going to get Silver Bullet back in the shop and uh, whatnot. 
and I might move this back over there and get a couple more pictures before he goes back in because this week it is getting tore apart and it will not be drivable at least for probably two-ish weeks. Um, so there will be some content on that. There will be some more content coming on the 6.0. We are also going to film at Music City uh, a little bit. I don't know how much I'm going to film, but I am going to film some at the show, uh, the journey and all that stuff because it's, I believe it's six hours one way to the Airbnb. So that should be, should be a good time. So anyway, guys, that's going to be a wrap for this one. So with that being said, if you all enjoyed today's video or find it helpful, please get on there, hit that like button, drop me a comment, smash that subscribe button. Thanks for watching guys and I hope everybody has a great day.